Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marissa. So before we get into today's chit chat, get ready with me, I just want to start off this video by saying I am hard of hearing in both ears. And today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my story and answer some questions about my experience of being someone who's deaf and what my life has been like. I really want to help somebody out if you experience similar struggles with me, if you're someone who's deaf, or even if you're not deaf, this video is really for anybody who's ever dealt with anything in their life that made them different from other people, or just going through insecurities and just like learning how to accept yourself. And so I really want to shed some light in that in today's video. And I just love seeing other women, other people out there thriving and shining and not being afraid of who they are so i hope that you enjoy today's video and i'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me to get some starbucks first and then we're gonna have our little girl chat and we're gonna talk about everything and i will see you guys just in a second bye Starbucks ready finally let's get into the question so we're gonna start off with a primer base which is gonna be the next pore filler primer the first question that I got was how did it happen and what kind of hearing loss do I have the type of hearing loss I have is I think it's called neurosensory let me look it up on Google I'm really sorry you guys I feel like I should know this um Sensory neural hearing loss. Oh, sensory neural hearing loss. The, the cells in my ears or the hair cells are damaged and it, it doesn't get the sound. I think it's somewhere in the hair cells in my ears where they don't move. So I have about 80 to 85 percent hearing loss in both of my ears and I can only hear probably about like 20 or 15 percent. Okay, so we're gonna get into the story of how it happened. So I technically I don't know how it happened and nobody in my family knows how, how it happened. I'm the only person in my family that has it. The doctors don't know if it's genetic or if it's like a genetic mutation or if it's due to something else. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Maybelline foundation. This is the matte poreless foundation in the shade 220. So there's a couple theories on what could have possibly happened and what was the reason. So number one, my mom told me that when she was pregnant with me, it was like around the third month when she was pregnant with me, she got really sick and she had a really bad flu, I think. And the doctors at the time, they prescribed her to some medication. One of the things that can be scary about hearing loss and giving your child hearing loss is that sometimes if you take like certain drugs, it's not like super healthy for the baby while you're like in the I think in the beginning stages of pregnancy that can cause birth defects, I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. But apparently that can cause birth defects. So that could be one possibility of how I got my hearing loss. So I'm sorry to kind of drag you guys around everywhere. The reason why my situation is really tricky and it's really complicated, it's because when I was born, I was literally born before they came out with screenings for hearing. So basically like when the child is born, they get a bunch of screening. And because of the technology and I guess the time back like I was born in 1997 they couldn't tell right away oh I had deafness in my ears or something was wrong with my ears so that's theory number one the second theory is that when I was around two years old when I was like really small I went on an airplane with my mom and I remember I had like a really bad I don't remember but my mom told me that I had a really bad ear infection and before I came to the trip apparently i was saying a few words if i couldn't hear them why would i be able to say a few words you know what i mean because like if a, a baby says words because they hear the words i guess i don't know if that makes sense to you guys I took a, a plane to germany because that's where my mom is from and so we were visiting germany my mom was telling me i had like a really bad ear infection then when i came back from europe like when i came back from germany i stopped speaking like at all i wasn't saying anything so that was theory number two that my mom was saying that 
maybe it was because I had like a really bad ear infection. How did you get diagnosed and the whole diagnosed process? So I got diagnosed at three years old, but before that, my mom had some speculation because first of all, my speech was delayed and she kept taking me to the doctors. But again, during that time, everything was different. They, the doctors didn't like assume, I don't know what it was. They just didn't assume that I had hearing loss, but they were just saying that it was no big deal. Like just wait till your daughter gets a little older so my mom i guess she just listened to the doctor number two she said it's because i would not respond to anybody like if somebody were to try to talk to me i wouldn't respond when my mom would vacuum my house she would tell me things like i would hug the vacuum and like i would put my ear on the vacuum and that's when she knew like okay why is this baby not afraid of the vacuum like why is she hugging it why is she putting her ear so close to a vacuum that's what prompted her to take me to the doctors and then she was asking them to do testing and like you know trying to figure out what's going on and then that's when the doctors were finally testing me and then that's when they said that i was diagnosed with hearing loss and then that's when i got like my first pair of hearing aids how has hearing loss affected you good or bad and what have you learned i guess from hearing little to no hearing and are you more alert or are you less alert or are you still navigating it to give you guys a really honest answer i'm going to say it has affected me both good and bad just want to preference that answer by saying no matter what like i'm grateful for what has happened and i wouldn't want it any other way i definitely feel like it made me look at my life like i can choose to not set limitations on my life and i can choose to not let certain things define me like i get to define how i want to live my life and like how i want to be as a person um i'm gonna go ahead and use my concealer actually no i'm not gonna do concealer i'm gonna first do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna do some concealer. I feel like without my hearing loss wouldn't have made me the person I am and give me the strength that I do have and give me the courage. I wanna be able to live my life and do what I wanna do in my life and do what makes me happy and I'm not gonna not be confined or constrained for that reason. I would say like some of the things that affected me like in a negative way, it's like definitely for sure like working at jobs or like certain jobs where I'm required to talk to people or even not even just working it's like on a day-to-day -day basis I think like it can be challenging like trying to interact with people definitely during quarantine and during like the pandemic was like really hard for me because before I started YouTube I was actually gonna become a phlebotomist and I was actually gonna go to phlebotomy school and something that was really challenging like having jobs like while you're deaf and like especially with my type of hearing loss i always rely on lip reading to communicate with people like i listen with my hearing aids but that's not like enough because sometimes people have like really soft voice or if it's like too much noise going on in the background and because of the pandemic that's when the masks were covered like over the mouth so i really couldn't you know like talk to people and it was like really challenging because i couldn't really communicate so definitely i would say that part really does suck naturally in my personality like i've always wanted to be somebody more extroverted and like i love like talking to people and like i love like communicating with people i never really do small talk with strangers and even though like it sucks because like, like just to be able to do like small talk with people but i think because of like my hearing loss and i i do want to say like i don't want to ever tell deaf people or somebody that has hearing loss like if that you can't get certain jobs because there's a lot of ways for like deaf people they can get like a job like accommodated don't let that affect you in a way of like not going out there and going after your dreams i think for me i'm really grateful and fortunate for the job that i have like doing youtube um being an entrepreneur i think like i'm a very creative person i really love to create so i think having this job works perfectly and um and i really love like being my own boss so i'm like grateful for that and this is like my dream job i personally don't want to work 
in like a place where like I'm taking care of patients and I can't understand like what a patient is saying or like because it's so like quick and fast paced. That's like the type of stress like I personally don't want to put myself through. I also worked at like food industry jobs where I was a cashier. Like even just like being a waiter was definitely challenging for me because again like it's busy you know then like you deal with like really impatient people even like people that you talk to and you're trying to like you know tell them like hey like I'm hard of hearing I can't understand you and then they can get like some of them can get like really irritated and that definitely puts like stress for me and it, it makes me like uncomfortable that's my personal reason for not like doing those type of things in my life at the end of the day what you truly want to do in your life like put yourself out there and don't let anything like limit you that's just my personal experience. I definitely would say that I'm very alert and I have to be alert because I have to rely on my eyes more, like a lot heavily and a lot more than my ears. I always struggled with opening up about my hearing loss on the first or second date. Any tips? I totally relate to this and I know exactly like what you're talking about, how you feel. Pretty much all guys I have dated I would say like basically I mean as far as I know because I don't know what people say behind closed doors but they never really cared like they just like would ask me about it they would like ask me like my experience and like about my hearing loss but they actually really like never cared or or never like looked at me different or anything like if anything they try to be more like accommodating of like if they're able to communicate with me better but i will say don't ever date somebody or don't ever be friends with someone who would judge you for that reason if anything it's good that if you're exposed to people like that from the beginning and they were in the beginning to be rude to you or like wouldn't respect like your situation or whatever you regardless should not want to want to be friends or in a relationship with somebody like that because if they were to be rude to you it just shows their character again as a person and it's like would you really want to be surrounded by somebody that's just like gonna judge you for being deaf or gonna judge you like on your situation like that also another thing i wanted to say is i feel like when you're confident around a man and you show that and you show that there's nothing to be afraid of there's nothing for you to be ashamed of i feel like if anything they're gonna really like seeing how confident you are like i feel like in dating i really feel like the more you're confident and you're like you don't make it seem like it's an embarrassment to you or like you have no problem showing off your hearing aid i feel like if anything they're gonna look at you like wow like this girl is so confident like look at her she's just like so comfortable in her own skin she's confident if you see someone who's confident it's like you're gonna look at them and be like oh wow like this person it's true to themselves they're authentic and like they embrace themselves i feel like that really took me a long time to finally reach to that place of like really accepting myself and not feeling any shame for it like it's, I don't know why my whole life growing up during like my childhood, like I definitely did feel a lot of embarrassment or felt like really insecure about it. But I would say definitely in my 20s, I really learned how to grow confidence and just literally not giving a shit and just being proud of who I am. Any tips for someone with hearing loss or death who wants to gain confidence? Having this mindset of like, if people are gonna judge me, based off of my deafness if people are gonna make fun of me or people are gonna be mean to me for that reason you have to ask yourself do you want to even be around those people do you really want to waste your time impressing getting validation from those people just because of something so superficial like when you really think about it you you realize like why would i want to be friends or why would i want to involve myself around people like that like if they can't even be a decent human being or be understanding for my situation i don't want to be in those spaces in my life i want to be in spaces where i'm being accepted i'm being treated with respect people like that like if they feel the need to say something rude to you about that it's like again it really shows you what kind of person they are 
and this really has nothing to do with you sometimes people will hate on you because they see that for example you have the courage to put yourself out there or that you're not ashamed of being true to yourself or that you have that bravery and sometimes people can just hate hate on you for that because they see that and maybe they they don't have that in themselves about certain situations in their life so they feel the need to like project that onto other people and try to tear you apart or try to put you down there's always going to be people like that and it's like it's not to shit on those people or like to shit on anybody or being like you know screw those people because i i also do think everybody's going for their own stuff and that's why i'm like that's why i don't take things so personal for that reason because you know like people go through stuff but that's why i again it's like just for the sake of like my own mental health it's just like it's not even worth to entertain that you only have one life to live you know it's like why are you gonna live your life hiding in the dark because you're scared of what someone's gonna say like that's so fucking like no like i'm sorry i'm like getting a little harsh but i just want to say like don't be why live your entire life just hiding and just feeling like you need to try to fit in with everybody else why not take pride in who you are and own it and embrace it and be confident because once you're confident and once you decide like this is who i am as a person nobody can tell you shit nobody can tell you anything i know who i am i know what i'm about you don't get to define me only you as the individual you get to define yourself nobody gets to define you that's a power that you have that's your power and nobody has that control i always remember like who i am on the inside that's what's more important i care about what am i doing for others how am i treating other people how am i treating myself like that's what i care about how do you manage the depth anxiety of doing things alone i mean i think the only times i really get like anxiety if, if i have to really like communicate with people i've gotten a lot better at it like i'll tell people up front that like hey like i'm deaf I, I couldn't hear you could you please like project your voice or something or sometimes like i will bring somebody with me if i need to go to like a doctor's appointment i will literally bring my mom i will feel like embarrassed for bringing my mom but sometimes like i need to bring her to certain things because i need somebody to translate something for me in case like i can't hear them because it can get really stressful for me to do certain things by myself and again with the whole mask situation that's why i choose to bring my mom to certain things but for the most part, if I'm like shopping, if I'm doing grocery shopping, if I'm shopping by myself or doing errands, everything else, I just, I really learned how to get good at it. I think pretty much what I do is I just watch out how I communicate with people and I just, again, I just have become very, a lot more open up front. I feel like if you're more open up front, then people are a lot more understanding than me trying to hide it and not tell anybody anything because they're just not going to know if you don't say anything. What are some feelings, thoughts that you have felt and experienced in living a life affected by hearing loss that you have always wanted to share? I guess the moments alone kind of thoughts. I've had certain thoughts like it would be nice to be able to go swimming and you know be able to hear when I'm in the pool and like have like pool parties and stuff like certain things like that i definitely have like thought about like but i think for me for the sake of like my own mental health i really try not to dwell into that and think too much of that because i feel like that's just gonna make me feel bad about myself and i just think in general when you know you have certain situations in your life and there's things in your life that you can't control i just don't think it's healthy to dwell on it and make yourself feel bad and like have to ask yourself like questions that like you know you can't change the outcome you know that's why i always try to just think of i have so many things in my life to feel good about that so many things i do feel grateful for and that i don't have to look at my hearing loss that is it's all bad or anything somebody asked me do i know asl yes i know basic asl i took asl when i was in high school i took it in my 10th my sophomore year and my junior year but i forgot so much of it but i do know asl i know how to say like basic stuff like my name is marissa today i am filming 
the um today i'm filming a very video by the way i'm using the color pop i just got this yesterday guys i am not a makeup guru i do not be know how to say all this shit but i got some i'm gonna put my eyeshadow on um i know like basic asl i know how to say like the colors like red orange yellow green green damn green blue brown purple red no i said red red pink purple i think oh my god i forgot dude i for i need to practice my ASL. i forgot so much also for anybody wondering my mom actually was gonna have me like learn asl when i was like right when i was starting school but at the time the teacher told my mom and also it was really difficult because my mom's first language is not english like her first language is german so she came to this country and then she learned english well she learned english before but english is her second language she was definitely open to it but um the teachers at the time, they were telling my mom that I could only learn like one language because I was already like delayed in like my speech and they just said that it would be easier for some reason. That's pretty much all the questions that I wanted to answer so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish like the rest of my makeup and take you guys with me because I wanna show you guys the results of my makeup. So yeah. pretty much my makeup look that pretty much concludes for today's video i just want to say thank you so much for watching and listening to my story and letting me share my story with you guys whoever's watching this i hope that you know that you are awesome just the way that you are and that you are enough just the way that you are you're beautiful just the way that you are and that there's nothing that you should ever be ashamed of don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise and yeah and just pretty much embrace yourself be confident and take pride in who the fuck you are baby because you are so special and you don't even see that and you better see that today if you haven't already and yeah always like ask me anything um i'm very open when it comes to my hearing loss like i don't mind when you guys ask me questions if there's anything you want to know just let me know in the comments and i will reply or i can always make like more videos like this if you guys want videos like more on this subject and yeah if you have any feedback like let me know just let me know your thoughts because i am curious if you guys enjoyed today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day or your evening or whatever time it is and i will see you guys in my next video bye